Hi everyone, welcome to Home Radio Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Walking Dead TV series, uh, McFarlane Toys Michonne. Now this is the flashback version, so there was an early release uh, from the Walking Dead line of this figure. And then the flashback figure is actually a reissue that also comes with some more parts. Now I know for a fact that that uh, cape there, the cloak thing, is a slightly different shade of tan, uh, but it actually comes with these new parts here, so these... Uh, obviously are like the TV series of like some heads in the tank that it would be in the governor's office or whatever um, but you actually get that tank uh, with the Penny Blake figure uh, from the comic book line which you can see right here and it also comes with another head for the Michonne pet zombies so obviously you have uh, Mike right here and then you can go ahead and put the other zombie head on and make the other one now uh, I do have two of these and this is obviously the comic book versions they didn't make TV versions of them uh, but these will suffice perfectly fine they look really cool so I will go ahead and do a review of these soon obviously I've got two and then I've got Penny as well so I can put uh, the other head on one of these guys and I can show you what they look like and how they look with Michonne let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look and here we have Michonne out of the box, and this figure is actually really, really cool, especially for a flashback. The fact that it is, you know, an older figure, it actually has some really awesome articulation. So first up, the accessories. Now, uh, these heads do actually have actual, um, you know, like holes, like actual peg holes in them. So they may actually work if they are possibly the same on the other uh, pet zombie bodies so that would be pretty cool if you could essentially turn those into the TV versions I'll definitely go ahead and try that and I'll show that off in the review but there are the two heads absolutely spectacular detail on those two things all of the blood and gore and everything the eyes just look so uh, menacing obviously they have the jaws ripped off and we have uh, very different shades of red. There's like kind of cherry reds, there's crimson reds and all sorts of different, um, you know, finishes in paint in there so that it looks like there is some, you know, kind of dry blood, some newer blood. Looks pretty sweet. As for the tank itself, it is exactly the same as the one that we got in the Penny Blake set. So you've got the kind of grunge and grime at the bottom right there, and then a bit of a blood spatter right there in the open top for you to go ahead and put whatever you want in there. And obviously you could obviously get a lot more and stack them up and everything. So it's cool that we've got another one of those. Now as for Michonne, uh, we have this cloak piece that simply just rests over her. It is a flexible plastic, so it's easy to take on and off. And it has some, it has a kind of potato uh, potato sack sort of a look to it in terms of the texture and it has a bit of a black wash on there as well to make it look used now I believe that this may be a little bit lighter than the original one or no it could have been the opposite way around but being as this is quite a light tan I'm pretty sure this is probably lighter than the original now what's awesome is obviously as you can see she can actually hold the sword in both hands that is pretty sweet like I was saying, the articulation is actually pretty good for an older Walking Dead style figure. Now the sword itself, uh, the blade could definitely do with being a little on the straighter side. As you can see down here where it's actually made, it's kind of bent there a little bit. Or it's actually just molded like that in the first place or something. But it just kind of looks like it's off to one side. You definitely would not buy this if it was a real sword. And obviously it's all squiggly and wiggly as it goes along the length of the blade. But in terms of the paint finish, it looks nice and uh, silvery. We have the nice brass color right there. And then down here onto the grip, the wrapping is just white. We don't have any of the other detail. We do actually have, as you can see, some of the uh, molded in detail of the wrapping. But we don't have any extra color there to signify anything underneath. Now I do actually have a replica of this sword, which I will be reviewing at some point. So I can... If you really want, show a comparison of the two just so you can see how much detail they've carried on from the replica to this so you can see what they could have done uh, to this to make it look a lot better. Now this does actually fit within the uh, sheath right here which again I can go ahead and show you this compared to the uh, you know real thing quote unquote. Uh, but I mean it's it's, an, it's nice for the scale I have to say. It fits on her well and the sword does fit inside the sheath well as well. Now I did um, kind of just push it in and out a few times the first time it was kind of stiff, but then the more I do it, the more it kind of frees up. So I think it's just excess plastic on the, so on the uh, sword here just being worn away. 
Now, as for Michonne herself, I think it's a very uh, lifelike sculpt and paint job. And then we've even got the one squinting eye and everything. That's cool. Nice painted necklace. The bandanas there is done very well. The hair looks pretty sweet. Uh, the clothes are all done really, really well. We've got a few different shades of blue here. And then we also have some dirt on the knees there as well and down by the boots. Uh, the boots are slightly different. I believe there was some kind of gold paint on some of these uh, lace holes on the boots uh, before that are not there now and I think they might have used to be black whereas now they are brown but overall I do think it does look pretty damn sweet now as for the articulation the head is on a nice ball joint there so it can move all the way around left right up and down and everything the hair like I said is very flexible so it will not hinder it at all shoulders come out to the side and rotate all the way around then you've got the hinge and rotation there at the elbow you got the hinge and the rotation there at either wrist and then this is really good especially for a McFarlane toys figure uh, you got the uh, swivel there obviously but the ball joint moves really really far that's a really good crunch especially needed for this figure and we got it the hips actually work a lot better than hips of this general style uh, that we've got from other figures but still it's not as good as the later style like for example if I take Jesus here where you've got the hinge so you can really move it all the way but it is still better than most other ball jointed McFarlane toys figures so fair enough uh, you've got the uh, single jointed knee there with the rotation and then also the same down here at the feet. They move forward and back and rotate a little bit there as well. Now, whilst I certainly would not say that any of these McFarlane Toys figures are perfect, I would definitely say uh, that they are pretty damn nice figures. And just so you know, I recently reviewed Jesus, so if you want to go ahead and check that video out, check it out on my channel. But uh, I definitely recommend Michonne, especially if you uh, want to go ahead and grab those pet zombies. I will be reviewing those soon, so uh, go ahead and stay tuned to the channel for those. But as this line is no more, this is your best chance of getting a good TV show Michonne figure. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more pictures of anything else from my collection, check out my Instagram. It's homerino123, and the link is in the description below. And for more videos, go ahead and check out what's on the screen right now. And subscribe to the channel for more. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.